uh, thank you uh, yeah. for having me on there with with the, the the Cloud Imperium. You guys are doing a phenomenal job. I, I really do hope uh, that a lot of uh, uh, people who, have, who who don't already know uh, mm -hmm. about both what you guys are doing and what we are doing. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's keep getting the word out because uh, I think this is really the future of game development, both the cloud, the crowd mm -hmm. funding, as well as the participation during the creation process. So thank you, Michael, yeah, for uh, having me. Put that dog over there. <laughs> She's like, oh, God, the party. <laughs> I hope I'm going to be that way when I'm working. Like, party for me, crap my pants. <laughs> 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 Woo, party! I will be right back. Hopefully, we're not smoking we're weed. Gonna nurse. So about six months ago when I started here at Cloud Imperium, we pretty much had nothing, no animation. We were using SDK animations that came with the CryEngine. Uh, so I was tasked to develop a motion capture system to create uh, everything that we need. So in the past six months, we've done a combination of using SDK. We bought some, there's a website that we bought some uh, motion capture from, uh, temporary stuff to get us going. And then just recently, uh, we went down and we acquired a OptiTrack motion capture system from Natural Point. And this happens to be the OptiTrack camera. This is a Prime 41 camera. It's a four megapixel of something like 120 frames a second. And uh, it films these markers, uh, which reflect light, uh, infrared light from the camera, and help track body movement. I believe the OptiTrack system is superior for um, several reasons. One, it's, um, it's a much more affordable camera. So that means we can have more cameras. The more cameras, uh, the better data that we get from our motion capture shoots. Um, it can actually see farther than other cameras. Uh, it, can sh it shoots up to like 100 feet uh, indoors. It does about half that outdoors in bright sunlight. So if we should happen to need a large space, we can go outside and, and film. So our biggest challenge right now is finding a space for a motion capture studio. Uh, we were looking at an old airport and getting an old airplane hangar, which would have been absolutely perfect. Uh, but we also are looking at other various spaces, warehouses, maybe office spaces that where we can, where we can set up. Um, uh, basically, we need a space big enough where we can capture run, a run cycle. The great thing about us having our own motion capture system is the fact that we're not reliant on another studio to go in and shoot our motion capture data. We don't have to work our schedule around other people's schedules and other, other developer schedules and, and other post animation houses schedules uh, who need motion capture facilities. Uh, because everything is in house, we can basically go in and say, hey, guess what, we need to capture 20 animations today. Let's go to the studio, throw on the suit, or hire an actor to bring in and have them throw on the suit real fast and capture these motions. It also allows us to continually update animation in the game. We can uh, create uh, new missions for the character to go on without having to spend masses of amounts of money on going to another studio and actually have them capture it and solve the data for us. We can do it all in-house. It's going to save us a lot of money on the back end. We're back. All right. Hey. 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 Sorry, we lost you guys. You have no idea what happened. Our, our uh, fiber said it was still up, and we didn't touch any buttons, and we came back. So who knows? <laughs> it's crazy. We're all back. Um, yeah. So uh, what happened? We showed the Brian stuff? Yeah, yeah we, showed the, we showed a mocap update. OK. And that was kind of our, I think Richard's thing ran a little long. And now we, uh, which was our update, a little mocap update. That actually, by the, that actually, by the way, gets delivered on Friday, July 5th, and we'll start setting up uh, that day. Oh, oh, 20, what, 20, what, Brian? 
Brian's here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll give a bit of an update, and uh, and then also I need to do some photos for you guys, right? Yeah. So no worries. So, okay, so and I'll do stuff in the background. <laughs> There's seven thousand people listening to you right now, Brian. No pressure. <laughs> okay, so next Friday, our mo I can't hear myself. It's echoing over here. Okay, thank you. Hey, be a professional, David. <laughs> It's like, it's like when you're on the phone and you get that echo, yeah. you're like, I can't hear myself talk because I, I just hear myself echo.